So it looks like my Friday the 13th box set has arrived. So I'm going to do my first unboxing and unbox it. So I'm going to go grab my package. Not that package. Get your mind out of the gutter. This is going to be a good day. It's a screen, baby. What is going on everyone? This is Different Take. It's been a minute, hasn't it? It's been a little while since I've had a video up. Was not my intention, was not the plan. The plan was to have a lot of stuff up for October. Happy October and happy Halloween Horror Month, by the way. But I had all this stuff planned for this month and my computer was like, <laughs> you ain't doing shit. Anyway, let's get, to the, let's get to the box here. What's in the box? What's in the box? Oh, Jesus Christ, look at this thing. It's like... Look at this. It's like a young person can fit in this. It's like a Chucky doll thing. It's like a small child could fit in here. Look at this. <laughs> There's a movie in there. SLC Punk. It's one of the best movies ever, by the way, if you don't know what it is. Let me get my, my Swiss Army knife. Swiss. So many options. Just give me a knife. Viola. Huh. Let's open this monstrosity here. Why is this? Oh, that's right. The poster. The poster and the lithograph. Lithograph. That's probably why it's so big. I've never done an unboxing before, so I don't know if I'm supposed to be filming the box or filming me, or I don't know how this works. Ooh, sexy. Look at this. Purdy. Look at that. Is it in the shot? I don't know. I'm going to move it all over. Look at that. Set. Thank you. Mmm. That is sexy. Look at that. That is pretty. That's pretty right there. That is nice right there. That is very pretty. And you got the little 360 thing going on here with the little yeah, and uh, let's see. Oh, there's a little little booklet, a little booklet in there. Hold on a second here. There we go. Look at it. It's a book. A book. Let's see. Literature. It's very nice. Look at that. Ah, look at that. Look at that guy. Wah, 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 wah. Watch out, ladies. Watch out for this guy. She's pretty. Ooh, photographers. All right, I'm gonna put it down. Uh, so yeah, booklet, literature, pictures, illustrations, no illustrations, but at least pictures. Okay, I wanna go with the bonus material first. So, there you go. Front cover, side one, track one, no. Oh, look who it is. Nappy time. This is what I love about Screen Factory. They give you these options. I love options. I just love options, don't you? They give you these options as far as like the DVD cover or Blu-ray cover, whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah, there you go. Pretty cool. Okay, moving on. Go on with the board feel. Next we got the, ooh, the reboot. Okay. Outside cover. Inside cover. Right the circle. Left the circle. Right the circle. Let tell me please tell me you all know what I'm talking about right there. Karate kid. Karate kid. Frederick versus Jason. Okay. Outside. Inside. Pretty cool. This is really cool. I actually like I always like that. There's always a cool image to me. Jason X. No comment. I have yet to do my Friday the 13th ranking, so I really don't want to speak too much on the movies just yet because that video is coming up real soon. So, uh, outside, inside, I think it's the same damn thing. Yep. Yeah, I got real creative with Jason X, didn't I? Yeah, well, this part's different, but yeah. I guess they really didn't think it needed another one. <laughs> I don't know. But, whatever. Jason goes to H-E-Double Hockey Stick. Talk about a movie that 
there are some people that do like this movie, but a lot of the Friday the 13th fans do not like this movie. Um, I'm not going to tell you what I think about it. Anyway, just yet. Outside, inside. Same thing with the covers. It ain't too much. It ain't too, too much. They changed a little stuff at the bottom, but it ain't changed too much. And I think this is the first time in the US that it's got a Blu-ray release, which is pretty cool. Jason takes a boat to Vancouver. Oh, that's a cool shot. I actually like that. But I think this is when he's in Vancouver. Maybe that's why they put it in there. <laughs> it's a cool shot, but the shot where he's actually in Manhattan, the one time he's in Manhattan, it might have been a better move. But then again, it's not legit because he really wasn't in Manhattan that much. Maybe that's the option. The option is to have Jason Takes Manhattan or the legit cover, which is the real story of what the hell's going on in this movie, where it's Jason is actually in Vancouver. <laughs> so, ooh, the new blood. This one was a, this was a good one. It was, it was different. You know, I like different. Outside cover. Oh, look at the inside. That's so cool. Now, if you have the NES game, that's the picture on the front cover. That's the, they changed the background and everything, but that's that's the shot right there. That's because it's a cool shot. Why wouldn't you use that? And I don't care what anyone says. That game is terrifying. I don't care if it's 8-bit. I don't care if Jason is wearing a purple overall get up thing going on. I don't care. I don't care that this, the music is just repeating itself over and over again. That game is terrifying. Every time Jason pops out, I jump every single time. Damn game scares the shit out of me. Jason lives Friday six. This was this is one of the more popular ones. Inside. That's a cool shot. That's a real cool shot. I think that's him. At first I thought it was him. Like on top of the RV or like the big, you know, thing. I thought it was that, but I think it's him at the graveyard because he's got the little posting right there. That's yeah, five. Some people like it, some people don't. Everybody has an opinion. Outside, Oof, that, that guy, that guy. There you go. Inside, Friday 4. Another popular one. That's cool. Actually, and again, if you played the game for NES, that's the like the image that you see right when the game starts. The knife comes right down this way. Shling, ding, ding, ding. Awesome game. It's a great game. Inside. That's pretty cool. Friday 3. Actually, I think this is yeah, new 3D transfer. So it's the 4K scan of the original film negative and a new 3D transfer. Doesn't really make the movie any better, but there you go. This is the first time, obviously, he gets his mask. You don't know that already. What is, is that? The th what is that? That looks like a video game right there. What is that? Never seen that before. It's old Sackhead Jason. There's outside cover. Oh, Mrs. Voorhees. There she is. She's so pretty. Look at her. Nice hair. Oh, she has some nice candles, nice ambiance going on there. One of the reasons why that movie is so good. Amy Steele. That's all I'm gonna say. And finally, the one that started it all. The original. Friday the 13th. There you go. Uh, front cover, uncut, and the theatrical R-rated version. Now, if we can get them for all these movies, like Friday the 13th part five and six, seven. They ugh, they cut out so much because of the, uh, we're not gonna get into that right now. But here we go, that's the inside. That's actually pretty cool. I like that cover a lot. But this is like such an iconic cover that it's like, if you, you can't really, like, you should probably go with this one, but I don't know. That's pretty cool. Hell of a job, Screen Factory, hell of a job. Seriously, I love it. That's just, it's just B-E-A beautiful. Not gonna lie, this is gonna look good in my horror collection. The reason why this box is so big, this big ass thing and uh, uh -huh. give you an idea of what it looks like. 
a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. I'll tell you what, I'll probably keep it in here just like this until I get a frame for them. So I can, you know, get them right in there so I don't mess anything up because they, they look really nice. They look really nice. Um, I'll probably put that on my Instagram and the book of face, all that stuff. There you go. That was it. That was my Friday the 13th unboxing right there. That was, I mean, good job, Screen Factory, seriously. Now we just need Screen Factory to do a Nightmare on Elm Street box set, which would be awesome. That would be so cool. And uh, maybe a reissue of the Halloween one, since I missed the boat on that one. I don't know what I was doing or where I was, where I missed that that was coming out at the time, but for some reason, I just, right over my head. Um, anyway, yeah, so and look at me, spoiled brat. I get the Friday the 13th box set in here. I'm talking about Nightmare on Elm Street and reissue in Halloween. Just be happy with the things you got, Joe. Just be happy with the things you got. Whatever. Okay. So, um, yeah. And I promise I will see you all sooner rather than later. I promise I, I will get these videos up as soon as I possibly can. I'm, I'm working my ass off to get these videos edited and uploaded. Um, just at the mercy of, you know, until my new laptop comes in and but i'm just gonna have to make do until then but i'm trying i am trying so uh if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe follow me on social media for all channel updates in the in-between time thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one stay frosty y'all thank you selena take it away